Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. They said, well, these men are drunk. Hey, Amen. Peter said, we're not drunk. Hey, Amen. We're not drunk. It's just the third hour of the day. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Right. It's just the third hour of the day. We're not drunk. Hey, Amen. Praise the Lord. The world's going to think you're crazy. Yeah. And the world's going to call. Yeah. Amen. Hey, Amen. They're going to say that you're Amen. fanatical. I was preaching revival up in Nicholsville. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. So, hey, Amen. This woman, the man come. Hey, Amen. She told me one night, she said, we're some of them old fanatical Christians. Hey, Amen. We're some of them that live it. Hey, we're some of them that everybody calls crazy. Hey, brother, that's the only way I want. Yeah. I don't I want to fit in with the world, but I want to say that the Lord, I mean, David couldn't have said he's my shepherd if he wasn't walking with him. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Said the Lord, go with me everywhere. He, amen. He ain't going to follow you to the beer joint. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. The Lord will be with me everywhere. Amen. You know what the Bible said? If I make my bed in hell, now he will. He'll know where you're at. Yeah. Amen. But he ain't going to be there with you. Amen. He said, I'm there. He's there. What's that mean, preacher? He knows where you're at. Right. Amen. He knows every place you go to. Right. He knows every word. Amen. He knows, don't he? Amen. That's, God, God knows my heart and God knows your heart. And friend, the only thing that matters in this life, amen, is living a life that we can say that God has been a shepherd, that God, amen, it's led me, that God, amen, it's been my, amen. I don't want him just to be in the house of God. I want to go down there. Right. But brother, I want him to go home with me. I want him to be a praise of all. I want to be right there. I mean, if we don't raise, amen, if we don't keep our house in order, we ain't going to have no blessings down at the house of God. If we don't conduct ourselves out there in the world like we do down here, amen, we ain't going to have no blessings. Amen, we ain't going to have nothing from God. Bible says, you know what's wrong people right now? Amen, most of them's double-minded, Brother Roger. On Sunday, they want God, but on Monday, they want the world. Amen, I've seen people that's rededicated and rededicated and rededicated dedicated and they still ain't got a hold of the Lord. Right. Amen. And amen. You know what they need? They need to be born again. Right. Amen. They need to get somewhere where God's at. Amen. You can go to church all you want to and you can go to the AA meetings all you want to. Amen. You can make profession after profession after profession. But friend, ain't nobody going to get saved until they get somewhere where the Lord is. Right. Amen. Right. Jacob said, surely. Well, there wasn't no doubt in Jacob's mind. That surely the Lord, the Lord, amen, it wasn't Isaac, it wasn't, amen, it wasn't Abraham, amen, daddy wasn't down there, amen, amen, there wasn't no doubt, amen, that surely the Lord was in that place, amen. I, when I leave the house of God, I don't want to leave down, amen, amen, whether the Lord is in that place or not. Amen. I don't want to leave. Amen. Doubting whether praise the Lord. If, amen. Amen. You know, you people sit in the house of God and they wonder if they're right and they wonder if so and so's right and they wonder if they're doing what's right. Amen. But praise the Lord. Amen. You say, well, preacher, how can we know that we're right? Amen. It ain't emotions and feelings, and that's good. But brother, I know that God saved me because when I knelt at this very spot one Sunday morning, Amen. When I left this house of God, Amen. When I got on this altar, I went down to sinner. I mean, when I got up, I said, surely, I mean, surely, I surely, I mean, there wasn't no doubt I mean, that God I met me right down there. Wow. Amen. God met me there one Sunday morning. Wow. Amen. And praise the Lord, I ain't been the same since. Wow. Amen. Jacob, amen, had, had that dream. He saw angels going up the ladder. The angels are coming down the ladder. Yeah. Hey Amen. I ain't worried nothing about the angels. But I like what was at the top of the ladder. Amen. He said the Lord stood up there at the top of the ladder. Yeah. Hey Amen. Who was hey Amen Abraham? Hey Amen. Hey Amen. The Bible said there that God come to Abraham. He said, Abraham, out of your loins, I'm gonna make you a mighty nation. Yeah. Hey Amen. Now and Abraham began Isaac, and we all know the story. And Isaac had two boys, one named Esau and one Jacob. Yeah. Amen. And the Bible said that why men them two that should in your womb, God told. Amen. God told, Amen. Amen. Rachel there. Amen. Rebecca there. He said, I said, them two that's in your womb. And the younger's going to say, Amen. Be over the elder. And the elder's going to serve the younger. And it said, By the Jacob inherited the blessings of God. Amen. Why, well, Amen. I know it went about the wrong way. But Jacob was God's man. Amen. You can say what you want to. Amen. About, Amen. About man. Amen. God's man. And you can say what you want to about the preacher. Amen. But friends, you better. Amen. Take heed to how you run down the man of God. Amen. There's going to come a 
the time. And it might not be at the day of judgment. I mean, God took men out of here. And God took women out of here. I mean, because they run down the man of God. I heard Brother Jay tell the story about a man, a man that cussed him to a fly one light on him. And when he went and tried to witness to him, I'd heard him tell it. But a man, it wasn't long ago, I heard the man's son tell the story. I mean, the same way that Jay told it. Jay said, I went to witness to a man. Amen. He said that. Amen. He said that I tried to tell him about the Lord and he's a mean man. Amen. If I was to tell his name, just about everybody in here would know it probably. Amen. But he said that. Amen. He cussed me and didn't want nothing to do with me. And it said it wasn't a week or two later they found him. Amen. Sitting dead. Amen. In his truck. Amen. Sitting there dead behind the steering wheel. Amen. Amen. Another man. Amen. Told me that same story. That man's son had told me that same story. My friend, God said, I mean, David said, I'll not touch the Lord's anointed. I mean, when you can see the power of God, I don't care if he's a preacher. I mean, whatever he is, whatever that saint of God is, when you can see how the power of God on them, you better watch what you say about God's people. Amen. Because God don't take it lightly. Amen. Why? If somebody talked about your young and Amen. You don't, you don't stand for it, do you? Somebody treats you young and wrong. God ain't gonna stand for it. Amen. God ain't gonna stand for it. Praise the Lord. Amen. But Jacob got up there and he said, surely, surely. Amen. Woke up from his dream and said, surely. Amen. It said there that he took, amen, the stones that he'd made for his pillow and he set them up there and they went from being a pillow Amen. Now down here in Southwest Virginia, the pillar and the pillar is the same thing. Amen. But it went from being a pillar to being a pillar. Amen. Amen. Something stacked up. Amen. You see all throughout the law. Amen. The Bible. Amen. When God led them through. Amen. When He led them through the river. Amen. Of Jordan onto the other side, He told Joshua. He said, "Go back down there on that river and gather you up twelve stones." And He said, "Take him twelve stones and set them up for a memorial, and then that they might know forever that." They the Lord of heaven and that should the waters upon a heap I mean I want a memorial in my life and that I might know forever and that I might never forget of the good things that God done for me Amen, Amen. Amen. Yeah. praise the Lord that song says I'm just human and humans forget yeah. so remind me dear Lord hey Lord just remind me how good you've been to me the things that you've done for me wow. Amen praise the Lord I can look back through my life and I can say surely the Lord was right there Surely the Lord was right here. Uh, surely God moved in that. Praise the Lord. I'm still looking for more. I'm an I'm, amen. I'm not, I'm not just content with what God's already done. I know He's going to do more. I know He's still walking with me. And I'm going to get to the end of the journey one day. And Brother Marvin and I look back and say that surely God was right there the whole way. Amen. Amen. It said that He took him, amen, them stones and made a pillar. I'm just about done. Amen. I took a stone there and made a pillar. Amen. A monument in our terms. Amen. That amen that he might know. Amen. And God told him there. And the Bible said that Jacob was afraid. Amen. You ever been afraid? Amen. You ever got to where there's just uncertainty? Amen. The way you don't know, amen, if God's going to do this or God's going to do that. I know that, amen, we all doubt. Amen. We do. The devil will make you doubt. He certainly will. Amen. But praise the Lord, God was right there with him. God was right there with him. It said he was afraid, but God told him, he said, he said, I'm going to raise up people after you. I'm going to bless your seed. Amen. When God says something, that's what God means, ain't it? Amen. When God said, amen, when God said he's going to come and get me, (laughs) hey, praise the Lord, I'm not looking for... I'm not looking for the world to get no better. I'm not looking for no, amen it for, it for it to get straightened out. No, <laughs> but I'm looking for Jesus. Amen. I'm looking for my Savior. Amen. I'm looking to the eastern sky. Amen. When the sun rises up in the morning, our child of God, we ought to have our eyes sitting out there. I'm looking for Jesus. I praise the Lord. I thank you, God, for saving my soul. Amen. amen. Surely the Lord was there when he saved me. The Lord's been there, amen, through every trial. Amen, that old song. Amen. Amen, say amen, that old song, that old 396. Amen, that old song, and the red back hymn, that old, that old preacher wrote when his wife died. Amen, take my hand, precious Lord. Amen, lead me home. Amen, when you've lost everything, take my hand, precious Lord. Amen, lead me home. I bet you that old preacher, amen, I've seen somebody. Amen, everybody's been around them. 
Amen. And, 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 and for God forgive me if it's wrong to think yes. But I was over at the funeral home and I saw two people coming toward me. And I thought, now what they're going to do is talk about how bad their family's got it. Amen. How bad the fussing and fighting. And I really just dreaded talking to them. Amen. Now, amen. Yeah. Now, whether that's right or wrong, I mean, that's just my, amen. That's the way my flesh was. Amen. I love them. Amen. But I just dreaded hearing about them complain. Amen. About how bad that everything is. Amen. They talked about how they lost, amen, mother and father and lost this one, lost that one. And they said, it's sad. And they said, I know you must be sad. Amen. Because, amen, you lost your mother and your father. I said, I'm not sad. I said, I'm happy. I said, amen. I said, the Lord said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. I'm blessed because God. I mean, he's been a father. He's been a mother. He's been everything I've ever needed. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's been right there. Thank you, God. I want to praise him. I want to worship him. Amen for how good that he's been to me. Amen. But Jacob said, surely the Lord has been in this place. Jacob saw many things. Saw God do many work in his life. Amen. I've never seen angels ascending and descending on a ladder. Oh, but I've seen God move. I've seen God move. I've seen God take sinners and make them righteous. Amen. Now, <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's a miracle. Amen. 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 Somebody said, preacher, will so and so ever lay down the bottle? If they don't get right, they probably won't. But I know God. I know God. Amen. That old song, I tell you, I can't take a heart that's broken and make it over again. But I know man. Amen. I know man. Amen. That come out of Nazareth one day. Have they come out of Galilee? Have they, amen, in the flesh, the son of a carpenter? Has there any good thing ever come out of Nazareth? Amen. Just come and see. If you don't know that he's good, just come and see. Amen. He's good. He's altogether lovely. He's the fire of 10,000 to my soul. Amen. And surely, amen, he's been. Amen. Places I've been. Amen. Ain't no good in me, but thank God I'm glad that I could just get under that spout where the glory comes out. Amen. Every now and then God just pours out a blessing. Amen. That I, I can't contain everything. Amen. And you can't either if you should tell the truth of it. Amen. Everything that God's gave you, you couldn't. You couldn't. Amen. You can't even thank Him enough. I can't thank Him enough. I, amen. All the, amen. All the, amen. The biggest container you could ever find, you couldn't fit all the things that God's give you. Right. Amen. The, amen. I'm not just talking about physical things. But ain't you glad that surely, amen, surely, amen, He's able. Surely, he'll carry you through. Surely, amen, surely, amen. Amen, what's surely mean? There ain't no doubt uh, that God, amen, is able to go with you. Uh, that God's able to carry you through. That God's able to give you the answer. Uh, that God's able to do all things. And surely, he's been here. Surely, I want him to be in my house. Amen, that old king said, why, God, no. He said, that old man of God, Brother Roger, he said, knows what's going on in my bedchamber. He knows the words I speak in my bedchamber. Yes. Surely, praise the Lord, surely, amen, he knows, and praise the Lord, I want him to go, I want him to go, amen, through the door, my front, my front door with me, some people think that God can't see what goes on in the bedroom, that God can't see what goes on in the house, but I want the God, I want the God of heaven in my house, amen, the Bible said that old Hezekiah, Amen. Isaiah come down to him one day and he said, you better set your house in order. You're going to die and not live. You're going to die and not live. Amen. You better have your house in order. I better have my house in order. I'm going to die one day and not live. Surely. Amen. When I lay, when my body's laid down, when my last breath, the only breath I've got is the ones in my lungs right now. I don't own the other ones. Amen. God's going to give them to me. But when I, amen. When I take my last breath, when my heart beats its last beat, when my eyes close for the final time, I want to be able to die saying, surely, 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 the Lord's going to carry me through. Amen. I like that confidence, don't you? Yes. It ain't proud, it ain't boastful, no. but I know that God, the God that began a good work, I mean, if I'll just say that, trust in Him, He's going to finish that thing that He's done, He started. He's going to take me home. And brother, I can say that surely, God ain't just been with me in the church house, but God's been with me in the workplace. God's been with me. When I lay down, David said, I laid myself down 
down to sleep and he said the Lord awakes me after he sustains me. He's my sustainer. He's the one that feeds me. He's the one, amen, just like a bird. Amen, just like the bird there that, amen, comes back and feeds her. I can remember when them, uh, them eagles, and I'm closing, them eagles, and was